Understanding the Seventh Heaven, a deep dive into expressions. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase in the English language, the seventh heaven. This expression is not just a saying. It's a window into cultural beliefs, emotions, and the rich tapestry of language. Whether you're learning English as a second language or simply love diving into idiomatic expressions, this video is for you. Let's unlock the secrets behind the seventh heaven together. The phrase, the seventh heaven, has its roots in ancient religious and astrological beliefs. Traditionally, it refers to the highest, most blissful state of happiness and contentment. This concept is derived from the ancient belief systems where the universe was thought to be made up of seven heavens, with the seventh heaven being the most divine and closest to the supreme being or God. In Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, the notion of multiple heavens exists, and the seventh heaven is often considered the abode of God and the angels, representing the ultimate state of eternal bliss. This background gives the phrase a rich connotation, blending spiritual fulfillment with ultimate joy. In contemporary usage, the seventh heaven is often used metaphorically to describe a state of extreme happiness or euphoria. When someone says they're in the seventh heaven, they mean they're experiencing a peak of happiness, often due to a specific event or achievement. It's a way to express joy that feels almost transcendental, as if no earthly pleasure could match the feeling. This expression is versatile and can be found in various contexts, from personal achievements, such as getting a dream job or falling in love, to moments of collective joy, like celebrating a national victory. To fully grasp how to use the seventh heaven in everyday English, let's look at some examples. After hearing the news of her acceptance into her first choice university, Maria was in the seventh heaven. When the final whistle blew and their team won the championship, the fans were in the seventh heaven. On their wedding day, the couple felt like they were in the seventh heaven. These examples show how the phrase can be applied to various situations, always indicating a high level of joy and satisfaction. Understanding expressions like, the seventh heaven, enriches your grasp of the English language and deepens your appreciation for its cultural nuances. It's not just about learning to communicate. It's about connecting with the emotions and historical contexts that give these phrases life. We hope this exploration into the seventh heaven has lifted your spirits and added a new layer to your language learning journey. Keep aiming for your seventh heaven in English proficiency, and thank you for watching.